What's been the response this week after the two straight losses? How have you seen kind of the effect of the team? You see us come together, uh, just getting out here on this field and just banding together. That's what it's really about. You got to bounce back from losses like that. And it takes a team going ahead and going forward. It's one heartbeat just to get back to that brotherhood, just get to that back to that bond. And you see us just honestly talking about uh, just getting to know each other, getting to know each other's families, their backgrounds, and getting us closer so we can go ahead and play for one another. And that's what's going to take to take that next step forward. How do you personally deal with like adversity right now, back-to-back -back losses for USC? How do you deal with adversity personally? There's always a new day. There's always a chance to go out there when you fall down and when you take tough losses like that, it's always a chance to go back out there and remind others what it really takes and what USC is really about. Dennis was, was saying that he thought you guys needed to play a little bit more physical on the outside and we were on the screen game um, a little bit this week to try and generate a little bit more there. Well, what have you seen from that this week? Do you kind of agree that you guys need to play a little more physical? I think we can always out physical the opponent, especially as a wide receiver group. We can be definitely dominant. Um, just going across for what happened last game, I felt as though we did a pretty good job in the mentality of taking it one play at a time and dominating that blocking game. Because we go ahead and take a part from one play or another, mistakes are going to happen. we got to move forward and keep battling. What have you seen from Caleb in terms of back to back these two losses? I know he takes those quite personally sometimes. Uh, what you guys don't see on the field is Caleb is going to go over here and rally the troops. He may not be the one that goes ahead and yells at the sidelines because he doesn't want that procession giving off. But it's any time we're in those huddles or we go in the locker room, he's a leader, he's composed, he's ready to give us that speech to go out there and finish and win the game. What have you guys seen from Cal's safeties and DBs? Uh, they're a solid group, as always. Uh, we're going to have to go at them this weekend. They're going to play a lot of maybe quarters, three, and honestly got to attack the ball because their corners and safeties are going to come down with it. How have you seen, you know, in your, your couple of years here, how have you seen Todd grow? Um, and, you know, I know he's obviously a steady force in the wide receiver room. Just what have you seen from him? How, how big is he as a leader? Day in and day out, Taj Washington is – everything you want in a player. He's going to go out there no matter how, how little the job or how big the job is, he's going to go out there and give 100% each and every time. And you guys see down special teams to the way he goes ahead and blocks, to the way he goes ahead and does punt return or kick return, anything and such, he's going to give 100%. Is he cooked for you? Man, Taj can cook. He can cook some stuff up. What's the best thing he's cooked for you? Man, some chicken alfredo was so gas. It was so good. <laughs> Everyone likes that. Yeah. That no, but it was a little bit different.